I want an owl for Christmas, five-year-old Lucy told her mum. Molly, her sister, laughed at her request, making Lucy scowl. Even her brother Arthur smirked. Father Christmas can't bring an owl, their mother said. They smell and their feathers get dirty. Besides, where would we put it? Mum, I want a mobile. Molly said. She wound some tinsel around her hair and made a crown. Molly, you're only nine. I've told you, when you're eleven, I will consider buying you one. Think of something else. It was Molly's turn to scowl. I still want an owl, Lucy insisted. She curled out her bottom lip and pulled at it with her fingers. It could stay in my bedroom with, with me and Molly. Don't be daft, Lucy. There's no room for an owl in our bedroom, Molly said. You could have an owl outfit, couldn't she, Mum? Don't do that to your mouth, Lucy. You'll harm yourself. Your fingers are covered in green ink. Finish your letter to Santa. Yes, that's a good idea, Molly. An owl outfit would be all right. I want a new bike, Arthur said. My old one is too small now, Mum. Yes, it is. We'll have to see what Father Christmas can do. She winked at Arthur. I want an owl, Lucy repeated. She put down her pen and rested her head on the table. I don't want an owl outfit. Lucy, did you know that owls like to fly long distances and hunt for food? And sometimes they eat mice. And they screech in the night. We don't want that. We never sleep, her mother explained. It might poo on your bed, Arthur laughed. So did Molly. Lucy lifted her head up again to look at her mother and then went to sit on her knee. Her mother put her arms around her. Oh, and I would hate to live in a house. They need lots of space and I, and I think they'd be very noisy too, don't, don't you? They tried to talk to their friends and in the wild and they'd, they'd go to wit to woo, to wit to woo, to wit to woo, all night long. Lucy laughed at her mother's imitation of an owl and sighed. All right, I'll ask for an owl outfit. A day later was Christmas Eve. The children were told to dress warmly because they were going on a mystery trip. The father drove along some country roads until they arrived at a woodland farm. Molly and Arthur read the signpost and gasped when they read Owl Sanctuary. From the passenger seat, their mother turned and put a finger to her mouth, warning them not to say anything to Lucy. As they turned up the drive and saw wooden statues of owls, Lucy's eyes sparkled in amazement. Then she saw some real ones. <gasps> Look, owls, she exclaimed. One by one, the ecstatic children were allowed to hold a real owl. It was Lucy's turn first. Her face glowed as a protective glove was rolled over her hand and up to her elbow. Hold your arms straight, Lucy, the owl handler advised. Keep your eyes in front. Lucy did as she was told and then watched carefully as the owl was placed on her wrist. What's its name? she asked. Mm. Well, this one hasn't got a name yet. Would you like to choose a name? Lucy nodded excitedly. Oh, if it was mine... I would call her Frida. The bird handler smiled at Lucy. <laughs> Perfect name for an owl. Frida it is. When they were ready to leave, the bird handler said to Lucy, you can come as often as you like to see Frida. On Christmas Day, the three children excitedly opened their presents. 
Tucked under her stocking, Lucy found a large envelope with her name on it. She was still learning to read, but she recognised her name. Inside the envelope were a lot of documents which she didn't understand. There was also a picture of an owl. She gazed at it with a smile. What's this, Mum? This is a certificate to say that you have adopted Frida, the owl. Lucy's mouth fell open with amazement. You mean she's mine? Sort of, her father said, picking her up. She won't be living with us, but we will be helping to look after her at the sanctuary. And we can visit her every now and again. Lucy hugged her father a wide smile spreading across her face. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Lucy, her father said. <laughs>